for some years there's been interest in this idea of mirror neurons. The fact that when we observe somebody else performing an action, our motor cortex activates as if we are performing that action ourselves. Now why do we have that ability? Because we're not even aware that our brain is doing that a lot of the time. So it appears to be some form of unconscious mind reading and one theory suggests that it's about being inside the other person's mind, uh, embodying ourselves in their body if you like and having a better perception of what they're thinking. Now on that basis it changes the emphasis um, in how we think about communication in the classroom, that it's not just about the verbal communication, gestures and body movement are also important and very often um, you know we're, we're told it, that teachers um, should be modelling sometimes in terms of their, their activities so it's not just a matter of um, you know doing as I say but a matter of doing as I do but from what we understand about mirror neurons and the possibility of that type of unconscious communication it may also be a matter of thinking as I think and a need for teachers to model the mental processes that they want their pupils to undertake.